Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Noramek, and welcome back to more of Animal Crossing, let's go to the city and the city folk. Uh, immediately off the bat, we're having technical difficulties. We have not had that in a hot minute. Uh, I got a slight hunch, my Wiimote's dying. And now this, as you may be able to see by the time code, is a little bit of a shorter episode than usual. And that's because A, I'm filming this directly before work, I can't draw it out too much. B, I kind of want to see how a shorter episode performs. And um, C, um, this is basically just to highlight what I've been doing since last episode. Um, granted, I'll try and keep this up uh, pretty decently. I might need to space this in the next episode out, because if you were to look at the in-game date, it is the 16th of July, uh, which is 13 days after we first started our Perfect Town journey. And um, yeah, it means tomorrow we get Golden Cam, um, assuming I haven't like gone and forgotten a day along the way. So this video is basically me just going around, making sure everything is fine and dandy and whatnot. And granted, um, you know what, again, um, I'm going to try and make this one like 18 minutes, just so I, you know, have time to get in the car and go to work. I'm doing in 30 minutes, but luckily I can get a lift. Um, I'm going to get myself an axe, because I feel nice like that. But pretty much, um, as I've done every day for the last uh, week and a bit, i got to go on, walk around all the flower patches I put down last episode, water them if any of them are wilted, and pick up some weeds. Then i got to go to the town hall, ask about the environment, if I get the right quote, I'm done for the day. Um, now, I haven't been doing axe throws purely on the basis of, well, if I accidentally get a silver or gold axe, kind of uh, diminishes the impact, you know? But uh, we've done the first four, by the way, like passively just while I was commentating. No, first five. Um, yeah, no, we'll show you have a little route. Uh, you may notice the tracks are starting to form in a few of the places where I was kind of frequently turning. Uh, we do need to do a cleanup episode uh, with all these patterns once we do get perfect to town. But yeah, um, this actually brings me to my second point. Um, I noticed throughout the week these little guys have shown up, um, additional flowers. Uh, these are Jacob's Ladders, I think, or Lily of the Valleys, depending on the region. Yeah, Jacob's Ladders, we can plant these, which is cool. Um, they are unique to perfect towns and will spawn on cliff tops, and they're just cool to have. It's like a, you know, it's like a little medal. It's like, yeah, yeah, we know you got a perfect town, so, uh, yeah. No, uh, you're not a wilted flower, you are a mushroom. And yeah, um, I'm gonna try and slow it down. I'm quite used to, like, speeding through watering all these flowers and just kind of, you know, clock in, clock out, we're done. Away we go. Um, I'm gonna try and slow it down and just vibe and chill. Um, all I'll do is, um, I'll do this entire area up until the bridge to town hall, and uh, then we'll go to our little axe throw. And yeah, like I said, I've got the whole area kind of mapped out in my head, so I know what to walk for also naturally takes me past weeds and all that jazz. Um, if nothing's wilted, honestly, that's perfectly fine and acceptable, I'll take that. Um, although I do um, have discovered something interesting, I'm sure some of you are shouting at me, and to do this you may wonder why I'm perhaps watering um, plants that aren't wilted. Um, so you know how all this time I've been saying, oh, how I wish we could have hybrid flowers, that all this so I can get the golden can and make hybrids? Um, well, day viewer, um, I've been able to do that the whole time. Um, yeah, no, I feel like a right clown. Um, I accidentally made hybrids the other day, and I just had this moment of, oh wow, that was all for nothing. Um, I don't think this is a hybrid, but there's one near Town Hall. Given it isn't wilted, in which case it'll make me look like an idiot. But we accidentally made purple roses, I think? Um, which is just... Yeah, that is something that would happen in this series. And so yeah, what are those guys? See how they look next episode and whatnot. Um, obviously we'll probably have to do the same circuit next episode, just to make sure everything's in ship shape. But, um, yeah, there's our final bunch of flowers here, everything seems fine. And, yeah, it doesn't seem like anything is wilted of its own volition either. So, live in intermission. Axe time! Again, I'm not gonna pull the answer sheet, we're just gonna try and cruise through it and we'll compare our answers after the fact. So, what's with you models? First you throw coins and now axes, this is getting out of control. Did you throw a gold axe in here or maybe a silver axe? A regular axe. Huh, then we should tell him the truth, unlike some people. Alright, I guess I'll give you your axe back. A bit underwhelming, but, you know, at least we got an axe back. Saves us all of 500 bells. Yeah. Well, uh, we may as well finish this off, uh, pull out my uh, trusty, dusty watering can. And, uh, yeah. Also, if you're wondering why I've kept um, some flowers in my inventory instead of planting them, that is just in case I accidentally trample some, because I was running around to try and get everything done quite quickly. Um, yeah, so just in case the trample throw them down, or if something wilts, for example, then. Because like, I, I kind of got like, a rough idea of how many are in each area, like certain patterns and the like. And so if I know that one of them's vanished, I'll just throw that down, and it's like, it works out, everyone's happy. And yeah, here it is. Wow, it's done it again. Yeah, no, so we've got purple roses and pink roses. Um, kind of cool. Um, now I think, I'm trying to figure these out. I think these two whites made the purple, and then you, you, and you did that thing. Um, so you know what, huh? 
Because too white. Like, honestly, I might get a bit obsessed with the whole hybrid thing. This might just become a gardening series for 50 episodes. I'm gonna watch those two and see what spicy stuff happens there. Um, I would like to go get gold roses, by the way. Um, I was talking about things I possibly got to do with this series. Gold roses is definitely one of them. That's just a cool achievement. But likewise, I also just kind of want to have a nice garden. Although that might require me to have some consistency in this series. A very, very foreboding word if you um, know the upload schedule of this. I mean, look, I've been consistent this week. It's just every week. I'll forget one week and like my month's worth of progress will just still vanish. It'll flutter away like a butterfly into the distance and... Well, yeah. Um, there goes all that, I guess. Uh, but yeah, no, we're pretty much coming up on the end of our little circuit. I uh, pick that weed. Uh, that's pretty much guaranteed us to be uh, below the, you know, too many weeds threshold now, which is always nice. Just gonna make sure I water this guy dead on. There we are. Again, there's uh, like a few things in future games, but the watering feedback is definitely one of them. Just like knowing when you've watered something. Now, you guys are all fine. Very nice. Very pleasant. And the last and most certainly not least, it is this guy. I think this is the final one. There's no more uh, near the lighthouse, I do believe. So, slide myself up, water that. And we can now go and do two things. First of all, um, pick that weed. I see you. I see you. You're not making my town unperfect, not by a long mile. I do, I do like how the town looks, though. Granted, I should probably spread the flowers out a bit more. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, there's definitely more stuff I want to do. I play this game in the afternoon with all the flowers everywhere and kind of have like, a sense of purpose to it. I like that. I think starting a garden is definitely kind of on the cards. I have no idea how many episodes it'll take, but I know some of you guys are just here to vibe to the gameplay and me, which I'm all for. Now, um, bug off results. Yeah, the bug off was yesterday. Did I take part in it? Did I? Hell, I had waters to flower. No, flowers to water. English. And yeah, that took us like, what, seven minutes? You gotta imagine when we're running around, it goes a lot quicker. So you know what? Uh, I sent a photo opportunity. Um, Cause next episode we get the golden cam. And um, for those of you in the way, the episode after that, we said we'd go through the um, fo photo folders that we've kept on the SD card for all this time. So, uh, yeah, I'll take a few more, take a few more. This is like, to me at least, that is definitely commemorable. Oh, okay, we can do better than that. Get that off the screen, have the UI fade away. That's a lot better. It's like, hell yeah. Granted, I'm not sure why they couldn't just have it set up so it takes, you know, the um, viewport thing without the UI. Um, then again, I don't know what engine they're building this in. That's the game dev student in me clawing his way out. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, there were so many silly words there, and I guarantee only like one of you understood a single one of them. Either way, uh, speaking of more silly magic man words, we're going to ask about the status of our town's environment. So, here we go. Alright then. Let me read you some of the comments we've received from the foot townsfolk here. Fantastic, Toffee is in great shape right now. Yep, it's pretty sweet. I feel like the luckiest pelican in the world to be able to work in a wonderful town like Toffee. Now, there is nothing else you can help us with, but that confirms that we have made it now 13 days with a perfect town, which means when I hop on and record tomorrow, that is, um, well, that's it. We get the golden watering can. Which is just kind of a cool vanity item if all else, and you know, even if it doesn't give us the whole, um, hybrid ability to make like I previously thought it did, it's still a cool thing to have, right? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not the main reason. Like, if some of you were sat there wondering, why is he talking about doing hybrids after the perfect town? Why doesn't he do them for the perfect town? There's your answer, I'm just thick. Like, I think we have tried to get hybrids earlier in the series, but it must just all have worked. Anyway, yeah, the usual, right? You know me all too well, Brewster. Say, would you care for a splash of pigeon milk? Oh, you know me. Absolutely. It's like, to be fair, depending on how long this recording goes for, I might make myself a coffee before work. You know, it is how it is. But look at him go. Look at him go. It looks so delicious. It's like, huh. I wonder how many times I've had a coffee in this series. Random thought. So you brew this up specially for me? I shall enjoy. Don't gotta tell me twice. Because... I know we've made it a tradition for the last 50-something episodes to always get a coffee, but, like, that wasn't always the case. I'm interested to, like, just what percentage of episodes contain me coming into the roost and getting a coffee. Because I can guarantee, like, the first 10, it probably didn't cross my mind. Just because that was, like... For those of you who don't know, right? Um, the first 10 episodes, you know, intro episode, a uh, work episode, yada yada, etc. Like, it didn't... Like, you know, once it set in my mind, we kind of kept at it. Um, but also, if there was anything going to set in my mind, those first 10 episodes, um, literally, um, c were, were not it. Like, we're on 171 now, so it's crazy to think how far ago they are. But, um, I'm just gonna, like, say this now. Um, the first episode of this came out January 29th, 2017. And then, um, episode 10 
which, you know, if we got off our regular upload schedule, should have been in, like, April, was in November. And then you just keep going from there, and it kind of got better from episode 10. But it's like, you know, it is ludicrous to think we only had 15 episodes in the first year of this series. Because my upload schedule was very bad, so I highly doubt anything would have stuck in my mind between recordings. And it's like, I don't get that, I'm a weird individual. It's like, I, well, I, like, I was playing this game because I loved it, so I don't particularly understand why I was taking such big breaks. And I couldn't exactly go telling you the answer now, um, because, well, I'm not me from back then. Like, I think, I had game hypothesis, but I, if I remember correctly, the first few episodes were filmed in a different room to what I record, usually recorded in. And my Wii used to just, just used to be hooked to a regular TV instead of at my desk. And so I'd record in a room where people were just coming in and out of. And that was a kind of around the point where I became a bit more... We'll say, like, socially attuned to, you know, YouTube being a bit cringe to do at the time. I was doing it with my family members in the background. So I think that's what put me off it. And then possibly once I moved the Wii U to my desk, that's when the upload frequency increased. And what are you doing, Butch? You're weird. In the good way, though. In the good way, though. Probably. <laughs> Anyway, so I was wondering anything that looks like it can give me hybrids without needing to be rearranged. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. I like the idea of just coming back next episode. Like, maybe we go over the, f like, flower limit and the game's like, nah, 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 you gotta stop this. You know, you gotta tear some up in order to get that perfect town of yours. But, like, I don't know. I'm enjoying it. I think we've already done this, haven't we? Yeah, we have. I remember that pad and that little, you know, um, I don't know how to describe it. There, there was a pattern there, at least. There's a pattern in my head when I think about it. I don't think there's anything we can do there, and if it is, it's the flower type I do not care for. It's like, yeah, I don't know this, like, this this flower type here, it's not just me, right? The one I'm, like, standing on. I don't like it. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. It just doesn't, it doesn't vibe well with me. I'm fine with it spawning naturally, but if I'm going to go out my way to make hybrids of it, you'd be sorely mistaken. Anyway, what are those guys? It's like, God. Next episode, get that golden can, and then the episode after that, it's like, oh, who boy. Like, I know, I know me. Like, I'm gonna throw myself in the deep end, now knowing I can make hybrids. It's just like, it's cool. It's cool. I like it. And that's what matters, you know? Like, I don't know, um, because I know, I, I know it must read a bit weird, doesn't it, you guys? Um, for those of you who maybe don't follow the series quite closely, like, also we got mail. I'm sorry, I should probably read this earlier. But it might seem a bit weird that all of a sudden I'm like, hell yeah, let's continue the series making hybrids and whatnot. But like, a few episodes ago I genuinely had no idea what we were doing for it, whereas now I kind of got that, like, second sort of wind. I kind of, I kind of vibe with that. And now we have a letter from Daisy. Um, yes. Uh, while I was going through doing my daily stuff, Daisy did approach me and ask to leave the town. I said no, but she said she'd already made up her mind and was going. So, dear Daniel, by the time you read this, I probably will have already left Toffee. Thanks for everything. I'll never forget the good times I had here. Goodbye, Daisy. Oh no, if someone moves in tomorrow, we are f not fucked, but like, it'll be slightly irritating. And then one from Mom. Your father and I decided to go for a swim out in the pond. Turns out it's a lot muddy than it looks. I have mud in my toes. From Mom. And we got another thing from whatever this guy is. I forget your name, but you're a monkey. I know that much. It's like Champ, isn't it? Simon. Whoa, Daniel, have you been? Actually, you seem more grown up or something. My character hasn't aged since I started the series six and a half years ago. And I kind of like that fact. It's like, yeah, he, he he's gangster like that. He's built different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I describe it, uh, Animal Crossing Villager. Gangster. <laughs> you know, some of the stuff that comes out of my mouth in this series, you'd think I was, like, cursed just to permanently say shit that sounded damning. And you're probably right. Um, uh, God, I like this vibe, though. I like the vibe of just watering, like, walking around watering things. Like, I can definitely see why people get a bit addicted to making um, hybrid flowers and whatnot. Ooh, this setup. Again, my intention wasn't to go rearranging anything, but oh, yellow pansies, if you know me, I am a sucker for that. It gets me down chronic on one knee, ring in one hand. It is like, I am there. I am, you know, it has me slain. And hey, you spawned in today. There are you spawned to be six here, another seven. Not that I'll complain. You know, push them above that threshold and, you know, in the event something goes wrong, as I said earlier. And yeah, no, I think we'll keep at this, honestly. It's like, I'm enjoying the vibe. Granted, we still need to cut the episode a bit short, but I'm vibing with this. Um, you yeah, know, granted, um, it's nice, it's a nice chill moment before work. Um, I looked at the shift row, it is a very, very, very busy day today. So, um, slightly paranoid-ish about that, but it is how it is, you know? It is how it is. You know, I get to, like, de-stress, uh, de-calm, well, no, not de-calm, 
be calm before my shift begins. You know, it's a chill with you guys. Like the music and everything. Like I know I've said it a million times, but I think it's like a no-brainer, at least in my head, while so many people find this game relaxing. Because it just it manages to find a way to be. It's like, would you see me doing this on the Horizons? Probably. But like on the Wii version specifically, I, I, there's like there's something in the water, I'm telling you, and it is probably drugs, but that's fine by me, because the drugs are good, and goddammit, it, I'm addicted, and if I don't get it, I will have withdrawal symptoms. Haha, <laughs> that's the real episode. That's the real reason why I'm not sending this series. Yet. Well, I mean, you spend it at some point, but it's like, if you're gonna have me, like, a free extension on a platter, then by all means, I'm going to take it. Ah, <laughs> oh, god. And I think with that, that is everything. Um, granted, we do have- we can now have a really funny moment where, um, we can go into our house and just see how many flowers are left over from last time. Because I haven't really checked. We've got the two on hand, but out of interest. Okay, all of you guys are in here. Granted, we could probably sell that. And then this is, uh, yeah, we move this down here to make it more easy. But how many have we got full? Um, oh. oh, we came very close to running out, it seems. No, we didn't. That was a lie. That was a massive lie, actually. We got like 40 something, I think. And then probably maybe a few hanging out in the basement. So yeah, no, a marginal why. Uh, we're still kind of stacked for flowers. Although admittedly, you might be thinking, uh, you know, stupid you, you got flowers and whatnot, ha <laughs> ha. But, it does have the added benefit that now, uh, you know, if we do want to go making hybrids and whatnot, we do have a nice selection of flowers just stashed away and also in the ground, so, um, win to that. Although I think it goes without saying, once we get the golden can, I am going to in no way try and maintain my perfect town status. Um, I'm probably gonna, like, chop a few trees here and there just to make, you know, moving around a bit easier, make things a bit clearer. But, and the flowers, the flowers can do their own thing, you know. We'll make a hybrid garden and whatnot, and we'll probably, like, pack it up at the end of each episode. But, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. And you... I was gonna say, you, you still, yeah, I thought he made a noise, and he did. But, yeah, no, I'm definitely not gonna try and maintain it in terms of the flowers, but... You know, getting a little golden can will be good enough, and making a few hybrids will be doubly good enough. And yeah, um, I think with everything, as promised, this episode is going to end up coming a bit short, but hey, hopefully you guys enjoyed nonetheless. Now, if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It does all help out a bunch. Let us know that you want to see more of this and all of that good stuff. And until next time, with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Ben Neramic, and peace out.